Today I have a tip for you for your Samsung Galaxy S6. So I'm going to show you how to customize your home screens. So what we do is tap and hold in an empty area. This brings up our customization where we can change our wallpaper, add widgets, customize our themes, and even change our screen grid size. So let's go ahead and change the wallpaper first by tapping on wallpapers. And here it brings me into my wallpaper selector. Something to keep in mind is in the top left hand corner, it, see, it says home screen. Tapping there I can drop down to the lock screen and I can also drop down to home and lock screens. So whatever you have selected in the top left hand corner is the wallpaper that you're actually going to change. So right now we're going to focus on the home screen. So I'll tap there. On the right hand side of the selector I can swipe through. These are all the wallpapers that come pre-installed on my device. Tapping on one will allow me to change the wallpaper and I can tap set as wallpaper. Now notice my home screen reflects that new wallpaper. Tap and hold again, and it's going to bring us back into the settings. We'll come back into wallpapers. Notice on the left-hand side on the uh, pre-built-in wallpapers, I have from gallery. This will allow me to choose from my gallery and select a photo from here. So here's a photo I took of my desk, and I can go ahead and tap on that. And now notice that it's going to select that photo. And if I tap done, it's changed my wallpaper to this photo that was in my camera roll. So now let's go ahead and tap and hold on the screen again. This is going to bring us back into the customization, and we're going to go ahead and go into our widgets. Tapping on a widget will show me all of the widgets that are installed on my device. Now some of these come pre-built in, and some of them come when you download an application from the Play Store. So you want to come in here if you're looking for a widget. I'm going to go ahead and select one from the Google Apps, and notice that it says 4x1 or 4x4. That's how much of a grid size on my home screen that it's going to take up. And we'll go over grid sizes here in just a second. So I'll tap on Google Now, tap and hold, and I'm able to drag it. Now when I can actually place it, you'll notice that there's a white square over here letting me know that I can place this on this screen. So let go, and it's going to add that, and I currently don't have any cards for this specific widget. But notice this blue box. That's how much of the size of the widget it's actually going to take up. Now some of them will allow me to drag and reposition these widgets. Notice I can't go in left and right, but I can actually go up and down to take up a little bit less room on the screen whenever that widget is active. So now that I have that set up, we'll go ahead and hit our home button, and it's going to save my changes. And now if I tap on that widget, it gives me quick access to the application. And so since that one was for Google, I can now see my Google by tapping on that widget. We'll go ahead and come back into our settings here. Now let's go into our themes. This is where I can customize the look and feel of my device. Notice there are some here, so if I tap on, say, let's do space, we'll be able to download that from the Samsung store. I'll go ahead and tap download, and I'm going to accept the download. Now it's downloading that theme, and it's installing the theme. Notice the progress bar on the bottom of the screen. And once that's done, I'll be able to apply this theme to my device. Notice I can swipe through these screenshots, and it's going to show me how it's going to totally change the look and feel of my phone. It's not going to change any of the functionalities, it's just going to change how my phone actually looks. So now we'll come back out, and once now that's going, we'll tap on, say, this Iron Man one here, and you can swipe through and see all these different screenshots of how the Iron Man's going to look. I'll tap Apply. Let's go ahead and tap Apply. It's going to do its thing. It's going to apply the theme. We'll give it just a second. Now that it's done, here's my new screen with my new theme. So now I can swipe through my entire device. You see everything has been changed to view this Iron Man theme that's been downloaded onto my device. So I have all of my contacts now look different. All of my messages look different. So everything here on my phone now looks different because I've applied this Iron Man theme. We'll go ahead and come back into our themes. Let's go ahead and bring it back to our default one. We'll tap default, we'll tap apply and apply again and it's going to apply my default theme making my phone look like it first was when I first installed everything. So here we are back to our default theme. I'll go ahead and tap and hold on the screen and now we're going to come into our last setting which is going to be the screen grid size. So tap on screen grid and this is going to allow you to change the grid to either a 4x4, a 4x5, or a 5x5. Notice that whenever I select it, the icons kind of shuffle around on the screen. That's letting me know how much screen real estate I'm going to have whenever I select a different grid size. So if I select a 5x5, notice the icons get a little bit smaller and they pinch themselves in to add room for another row on the right hand side. But if you're looking to get maximum icons, you're looking for that large size, go ahead and leave it at a 4x4, which was default, and you can see how big the icons are. 
So whatever you'd like to do, tap apply, and it's going to change that grid size. And now I can go ahead and add more icons and even extend some of my widgets out here on the home screen. Tap and hold in an empty area, tap screen grid, go ahead and select it back to the default and tap apply. As an added bonus, you can also pinch in on the home screens to access that menu. So instead of actually having to tap and hold in an empty area, you can always go ahead and pinch and it's going to allow you to bring it into this menu. And just tap anywhere in the empty area and it's going to bring you back out to your home screen. So that was how you go ahead and customize your home screen by changing your wallpaper, adding in widgets, changing your icon grid size, and even applying a the theme to your device.